What up though YouTube? My name is John and welcome back to the Mr. Lot YouTube channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you for stopping by. I encourage you to stick around and watch the video and then afterwards, leave a like or a comment depending on how you feel about what I'm about to say. And for anyone who's watched any of my videos before and you're returning, thank you for coming back. I am on my way to my Muay Thai class for the night. I try to take two classes a week. I'm contemplating on whether or not I should take three, you know, and kind of up the ante a little bit on the effort that I'm putting into training and accomplishing my goal of losing the last 30 pounds of fat on my body. Well, not the entire last 30 pounds, but losing 30 pounds and getting to the best shape of my life. So, it's funny that I'm thinking about increasing my amount of lessons that I take per week because it kind of sparked an idea that I want to just chat about and voice my opinions about. It starts off with a question that I often ask myself, but I'll ask you who's watching this video, what are you doing with your hands? What are you doing with your hands? And I don't mean that to get super personal, but I mean that in terms of what are you actually doing that's productive? Or better yet, if you're watching this towards the end of the day, what have you done today that was productive? I'm of this mindset that as long as we have our two hands, we can do whatever we need to do to get to the goals that we have. As a matter of fact, I think that if you have both of your hands, then you remove all excuses. You remove all barriers between you and whatever it is that you want. But you have to use them. You know, one of the things that I've been learning as I learned this fighting style is to always keep your hands busy. Always keep your hands in a productive area. If you're throwing a punch, the other hand should be protecting your head. It should be blocking you. Even if you're throwing a kick, your hands should be in positions that will guard you from whatever's coming right? This goes for offense or defense. Whatever you're doing, you need to make sure that your hands are in productive spaces that can help you in that situation. Whether it's trying to evade a punch, whether it's trying to parry a punch, deflect, protect yourself, whatever. And that's a wonderful concept for life, for hard work, for grinding, for achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve. What are your hands doing? Where are your hands going? Because if one hand, and I'm using the word hand figuratively, if one part of you is working on something that's productive, another part of you should be working on something that maintains or that keeps you safe or that keeps you steady. I am a huge proponent of people working multiple jobs, whether it's multiple working jobs or whether you're working your nine to five and then you have a goal or a dream on the side that you're spending time to build. I am a big proponent and a big supporter of people. Let me turn, let me turn this down. I'm a big supporter of people actually multitasking. I'm a big proponent of you working whatever amount of hours that you need to work in order to push that envelope and go out and seize that thing. And then also making sure that you're keeping yourself at bay and you're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable to whatever life throws at you. 
you know, I am just a, I'm just surprised at how powerful an asset our hands are, our work ethic. I would argue that it's it's probably the most powerful asset that you have as someone who's trying to accomplish anything. It's your work ethic. It's what you are willing to put in. It's how late you're willing to stay up. It's how early you're willing to wake up. Personally, I'm a morning person. I like to wake up as early as possible. And then as the night wanes on, to go to sleep on E, knowing that I've done everything in my power to move that needle that much closer. Hard work and the things that I'm learning and Muay Thai are just so synonymous. Controlling where your hands are, remembering that positioning is everything. When you're throwing a certain kick, there's a position that your hands will take that'll help you throw that kick better. There's a certain twisting motion that you do. When you're throwing a punch, I'm southpaw. So my right hand is always protecting my face. My left hand is always coming when I'm throwing that power shot. But there's just a purpose to every movement. No wasted motion. I have another question for you guys. How much of your movement today, and when I say movement, it's a, it's a metaphor for what you did. How much of your movement was wasted motion? How much of your movement was off balance? How much work did you do today? Or how much uh, lack of work that you got done today resulted in wasted motion? You know, you slacking off, you got Netflix streaming and burning out all day long. You can't focus on the work that you're doing. You scrolling social media all day long. And I have to pull myself out of this too, so I'm not preaching, I'm just talking. You got lists of goals that you wanna get done. You got list of to-dos, oh, this month I'm gonna do this, this week I'm gonna do this, today I'm gonna do this. We're almost at the end of the first quarter of 2024. And there are a lot of us, me included, there are a lot of us that haven't, that haven't moved an inch on anything that we set out to achieve. There are a lot of, I'm not even gonna say pointless stats or empty stats. There's just lack of stats. There, there's a lot of us that just didn't do anything that we set out to do. And we are already at the end of the first quarter. Two hands two hands your two hands your work ethic your energy your positioning all of these things that I'm studying and I'm getting critiqued on and fighting all map out to real life all map out to everything in life it's all about making sure that when you're engaged and you're in that ring that I talked about in my last video, it's all about making sure that there's no wasted motion. There's no lack of effort. There's no lack of positioning. Because you don't know where that strike is gonna come from. You don't know what part of your life, what part of your your journey you're going to get attacked on so you have to be in the right position in order to dodge or block and that could mean anything to you i don't know you personally yet but that could mean several things that can mean you work multiple jobs so that you can pay off a debt or you work multiple jobs because you're actually trying to fund 
a, a dream or a vision that you have and you're not trying to break the bank with the money that you're already pulling in because you depend on that for survival. I don't know, it can mean you're taking on a martial art or any type of extracurricular activity or any type of extra sport or activity because your goal, like me, is to get into a better quality of shape. So you're adding in, you're giving yourself more, more ammo to get to that vision. See, we, as I'm parking, we have to do a better job of not wasting time, not wasting motion, not wasting energy on things that are going to leave us open for the next attack. That's just something that proper practice has helped me figure out. That's something that I'm having instilled in me as I go into these classes, as I throw on these gloves. I just challenge you, whatever area you're at in life, whatever positioning you're, you're at in life, whatever you're trying to get done right now, I challenge you to study your positioning, study where you're trying to go and study where you are and make sure that you're doing as much as possible. Everything is possible in order to not only achieve that goal, but to make sure that something doesn't come along and knock you off your square. Life is gonna happen. We're gonna get hit. We're gonna get strikes that we don't see coming. But this video, this conversation is about the strikes that you can prevent. So I just wanted to get that thought off as I'm getting ready to go into class, knock out this Tuesday night session and just really learn more. It's about positioning. It's about location. It's about wasted motion or preventing wasted motion. It's about doing everything in your power so that you are in the best spot to make the best move. So in a roundabout way, that's what I wanted to tell you guys today. That's what I wanted to talk about. And it's almost time for me to step in here. I'm feeling good about today. I'm, I've had a wonderful day. <laughs> it's been a wonderful week so far. It's been busy, but I've been knocking things out. So. With that being said, I hope that you guys, wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and let's get to it. I'll talk to you later.